Okay, let's get started with the next question. So in the next question, they ask us to find the mass. So we'll first write down all the information that we have. So let's start with the heat. So in the question they say that the sample absorbs heat. So since the sample absorbs heat, we know it's going to be positive. So this is equal to positive 23.4 into 10 to the power of 3 joules. You could also write this as 23.4 kilojoules. We work in joules, always. That's the SI unit. We know that the initial temperature is 5.6 degrees Celsius. The final temperature is 19.8 degrees Celsius. And finally, we can calculate delta T, which is the difference in temperature, Tf minus Ti, which is 19.8 minus 5.6 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 14.2 degrees Celsius. And we have been given the specific heat, which is 2.46 joules per gram degree Celsius. So now we have the equation Q equals MC delta T. We've been asked to find the mass. So mass is what? So we're going to isolate for M and in this case we'll divide both sides of the equation by C delta T. So I'm actually going to show you in this video what I mean by that. So if I divide both sides of the equation by C delta T, you can see that these two cancel out on this side and ultimately you're left with the equation M equals Q over C delta T. So in this case now it's a simple case of subbing into the equation everything we already know. So this would imply that your mass would be equal to 23.4 into 10 to the power of 3 joules over 2 or 2.46 joules and then again you have your grams degree Celsius that goes on the top because it's being divided here so into grams degrees Celsius into delta T which is 14.2 degrees Celsius. So now your degree Celsius gets cancelled out, so does your gram, oh grams doesn't get cancelled out, we're finding grams, the mass. Joules gets cancelled out and then you perform this calculation and you would end up with a mass of Six six oops nine point nine grams. This right here is your answer.